Hey guys, it's me, Leaf of Wardbusters, and today I wanted to show you how to draw a tree with markers. So before I start, I just want to say, please make sure to like and subscribe, and help me get 4,000 watch hours by watching my longer videos, and that will help me get monetized on YouTube. And also, um, I am using a smart color art uh, marker kit. It's a great um, marker kit. If you have it, I'd recommend using it. So the colors I'm going to be using, if you have it, I'm going to be using lime green, also known as 59. And I'm going to be using the uh, Viridian. I, I forget. It's like a dark green. And it's um, it's 54. So I'm also going to be using... Uh, you, you can use this uh, gray if you'd like. You guys, I recommend just kind of testing out uh, multiple greens for this tree. I think we're drawing... I think it's a birch tree. But yeah, I'm just going to start off with my lime green marker color. And I have marker paper, so it's multi, it's mixed media. Uh, it's this Canon uh, XL marker paper, and it is great. I really like it. So again, I'm just going to be using my lime green marker, and I'm going to start off just by kind of adding, kind of just. I mean, it really doesn't matter. You guys can really make whatever shape you want. I'm just kind of doing this kind of shape. I'm going to leave an opening right there, and. If you saw the community posts uh, where I show the picture of the drawing, uh, this is what it'll kind of look like. It won't look the exact same, but it should, uh, I mean, you can make it however you want. I'm just going to kind of make it however I want. So, again, kind of customize this. This one is definitely unique because uh, you can customize it. And it's just going to look like this. It's going to look like a kind of a green blob for a little bit. Don't add too many openings. Um... Like, I'm going to get rid of this one, make it come out a bit more, kind of like this, and then like the rest like that. Okay, so whenever uh, you are done with making these leaves, like the scribbles, kind of like this, you're going to add a line for the ground. So, just kind of make some grass lines, really doesn't matter. And I'm going to be using just this green kind of, just kind of make little grass lines. Again, this is this is kind of be gonna be a cartoonish one. Uh, it's not super realistic, but yeah. So I'm gonna get rid of this. I'm going to use. Uh, I forgot to mention this. I'm going to use the uh, uh, black marker. Uh, it's kind of a fine tip, so you guys can use sharpie. I'm using the Prismacolor uh, fine tip. It's not the finest one you could get, but it's it's pretty fine. But yeah, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to kind of just make these lines and outline this just like so can can add a bump make that like that go like this just kind of outline this the whole thing with all these tiny little scribbles for the leaves Okay, so now that I've finished this, uh, it looks kind of strange, but <clears throat> that's okay. Uh, it will be fixed here soon. So let's keep out our black. And what I want to do is I want to add some like little branches. That's why I had these uh, outlines or these empty spaces. So it kind of can show the branches. Um, I'm going to do two down like that maybe. We could do like a Y like this. Then one like big one big branch kind of coming down to like that maybe one up here kind of design it how you want it to be um really doesn't matter um i'm just kind of customizing it my own way but you guys could copy the uh, picture uh, i made on the community post you could copy that or um just make it your own way i'm just kind of making it this way And once you're finished with all these uh, little branches, what I want to do is I want to um, I want to kind of bring this like a trunk down. So I'm going to make a Y kind of like this one. I'm going to make two lines kind of coming down. These two are going to connect. And it doesn't have to be perfect. I'm just going to draw a straight line coming down. And now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to draw a little bit of the, you know, some like, yeah, this, this is a birch tree, I think. So I'm just kind of making these lines to make it look nicer. And uh, yeah, but we're not done yet. 
it doesn't look, I mean, it looks good, but we're not done yet. I want to take my dark green out now. This is where the shading kind of comes in. Okay. Oh. Okay, so what I want to do is I want to just take this green and just kind of shade it everywhere. It doesn't really matter where you, you don't have to put it in a certain area. I'm just kind of shading it everywhere. I'd recommend leaving the open spots uh, empty and just, yeah, just kind of go with it. You guys could do it really however you want. I'm just kind of shading it in. And you want to leave some of the light green left. And you could do this with colored pencils. Uh, really, uh, whatever. Uh, it just has to have color in it. I have done it with regular pencils, though, but it looks a lot better with color. Um, maybe up here we could do a little bit. Like that. Kind of take this. Kind of surround it. I don't know. You guys could do whatever you want. And I do want to add a couple more things to this. I want to add some, like, leaves kind of around it that are falling. So you guys could do that. I'm just going to kind of add some dots there. And we could do different colors, like, um, just just dots, really. It's just, it's really all you got to do. You can make more kind of falling down here. I'm going to add some green grass to this. Again, this is supposed to look cartoony. So it's not supposed to look, um realistic and I'm gonna come back with my light green I'm going to add uh, some light green leaves and uh, we'll be almost done okay so I'm just gonna come back with my dark green forgot to mention this but you guys uh, can you don't have to do this uh, just put some leaves in the tree just kind of make it random on the tree um, I'd say use the dark green ones and just make these little dots kind of like this and, uh, yeah, there is the tree, but I am not done yet. I want to add a little background. I'm just going to use uh, the sky blue. Yeah, here we go. I'm going to use the sky blue background and just kind of make, uh, you guys can make it look really nice. I'm just going to add a uh, kind of just like a scribble background. And there we go. There is the tree. I hope you like this video. Again, you don't have to use the background. Uh, you guys can make it really whatever you want. Uh, on my sketching video, sometimes I'll make like a light gray background. Uh, but yeah, that's how you draw a cartoon tree. Please make sure to like and subscribe. Share this video with your friends and family. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.